All right, let's do an example where we are dealing with a probability distribution function. Now, in this probability distribution function, we need to understand what that means. Now, hopefully you remember that probability distribution function is just a function that represents the number of probabilities for a given situation. Now, in this given situation, the sum of the probabilities should equal 1, right? So that's going to be important. The sum of the probabilities should add up to 1 or 100%, right? So let's go ahead and see if we can set this up in such a way that the sum of the probabilities is equal to 1. So the probability when x equals 0 is k over 0 plus 1 plus k over 1 plus 1, right? Because I put 1 in for x plus k over 2 plus 1 plus k over 3 plus 1. Now, if I add each of those probabilities together, it should add up to give me 1. All right? So that means I've got k over 1 plus k over 2 plus k over 3 plus k over 4, which needs to add up together to give me 1. Now, I need a common denominator, so it looks like we're going to go with 12. So 12k over 12 plus 6k over 12. That, I know, I know, that's not a k. Same thing, k, x, they're all the same. My math teacher would probably kill me for saying something like that. Good thing I'm the teacher now. 12, okay, equals 1. Now I can add all those together. 12 plus 6 is 18, plus 4 is 22, plus 3 is 25. Please tell me if I'm wrong. No, never mind. You can't tell me because I'm already done doing this by the time you're listening to it. Okay, so hopefully that's 25, and then we will solve for k. So we're going to put 12 to the other side. So 25k equals 12, divide by 25, and we got our final answer that k equals 12 over 25. So when k is 12 over 25, that then allows this to be a proper probability distribution function because each of these probabilities will add up to give me 1. All right, so hopefully that was helpful. Use that in your homework tonight. Ciao.